Hi there, welcome to the What Geek. It is I, Saz, and we are back with some more Project Zomboid. Uh, getting a bit tired, it's only 12 o'clock, so I thought I'd do some foraging, and then I noticed this. Yeah, you've got now fish bait as part of the uh, things that you can uh, forage. This is quite cool. So we'll uh, we'll do a little bit of foraging. Ah, I see. It's actually continuing on. So they've actually changed the way that you forage. And it's also telling you what you're picking up. Okay, let's cancel that. Pop the stone down. Pop the chip stone down. And I can make some more spears. Grab some sleep. Oops, there you go. Also, gotta see if I can find my main map. So now I can sleep. This is the only thing is is that you probably spend more time just waiting in the warm and let the heat go. In like a reality sort of based situation. Let's see if I've put my main map anywhere in here. So it might be one of the vehicles. The main concern at the moment is that we're getting to a time when temperature is going to be an issue. It's not point, it's just nearly one degree outside, so... in the back of my other car. No. 
There we go, there's the main map. Let's quickly get back into the warmth. Because there's no point me catching a cold. And then we can have a quick look at what we can do over the winter months. Because growing stuff ain't going to be it. And foraging berries and stuff is not going to happen as well. There we go. In the nice warmth. There we go. Wah. Right. <laughs> let's uh, let's have a look at this main map. Let's read the map. Okay. So we are currently So we are currently here. Let me mark this out. I can't add a note. Okay. So this is uh this is where we are right now. So Brandenburg must be the town that we've been clearing generally out there's the golf club down there so I'm wondering if the golf club might be a good target Not California before. Tony has Woodbury, Louisiana, Zonix Mega Mall, which I think we want to stay away from over the bridge. Prison going on there, downtown, Balling Cooling, Phoenix. So where's more draw? There's Bedford Falls. Oh, there's more draw. More draws here. So this is a rather large commercial centre. Oh, I mean, we, we've been to Saint like, Lamb. We still haven't cleared that out either. I think Drayton's fairly cleared out. I know Red Value is cleared out. And then of course we have New Denver. Which I'm not that familiar with. I know Drunk on Life generally tends to hang around that area. And it is close to Fort Redstone. So it might be a, a potential target for the future. So what what is what are my goals? Well obviously we're trying to now uh, improve my stats and my survivability. And as you can tell, outside, it's nice and warm in here, but it ain't that warm out there as it's starting to snow. So my general idea is I want to keep our area safe and I want to just keep getting food in because we're not going to get food from... Uh, growing anything not until at least March time so we've got a, about three or four months really before we can actually start growing anything we can fish that's all very well but what I want to do really is make sure that wherever I am I'm 100% secure so it may end up being I have damaged the lights on the sink oh no no I haven't
it may just end up being that I'm going to have to do a lot of uh, prep stuff and a lot of house searches to uh, get some stuff, food, etc, etc, etc. do want to do, really want to do, is make 100% sure that my closest areas are free of zombies, or as free from zombies as I possibly can get it. So we're going to go zombie hunting again. Probably won't be as dramatic as last time. Because I think we're really getting the strag stragglers anyway, at least. There she blows. I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to draw them to me. Probably the more sensible thing to do. And it's minus 1.4. So I'm definitely feeling the cold. So I'm running. Won't be so bad because it'll keep me a little bit warmer. <laughs> Go on you, over it. Next. Let's have a quick look at the uh, condition on this thing. Well, oh, can't seem to remove the knife. What oh, bugger?
It's starting to get six o'clock, so things are getting a bit uh, brighter now. I know it doesn't seem quite that important that one disposes of the undead here, but the safer I am to do all the mundane stuff, because I think that how do I put it? A lot of the accidents that people have in this game is when they're distracted by doing mundane stuff. They think they're safe. And I'm not one of these people who likes to think they're safe. I like to know I'm safe. We're taking out zombies. This is the best cure for that. I'm going to set the siren off again so that I can uh, draw that load over. fast forwarding as I wait for them right on you Okay. a bit of shotgun in as well while I'm at it. That is another thing I might want to be looking for as well, shotgun shells.
and that wasn't the second pump. Have a bit of that. Has he got a bandage on? That's quite cool. Once I've got rid of all these bodies, I'll have a quick look at him. Let's we'll see if the character does have a bandage. Looks like it's got a bandage on as well. It looks like I seem to have really drug him out the uh, out the woodwork, haven't I? Here. Yeah. Is that a machete I see before me? That's a bread knife. I suppose I could shove a bread knife on the end of it, but bread knives aren't exactly the sharpest of objects. Unless you're actually trying to like saw off a bit. Come oh, on, let's get you off the road. Oh, Mr. Hoodie over here. Hello. And get my maintenance up a bit. Maybe these spears will last a bit longer. Sneaky, sneaky. Slappy, slappy. Deady, weddy. Hear him. Ah, there you go. Oh, 
there's another one making their way up as well. I suspected I'm starting to want some water. I'm starting to wonder if that pitchfork actually might make a good weapon. So I trust that's going to be a spear weapon as well. Right, I'm going to see if I can find myself some water. Try not to sneeze, which I'm going to. Ah, no, go away. Go away, Nosich. Ah, ah. Oh, watery eyes, no. <coughs> Excuse me. I knew it was coming. Did my best. So what we're going to do, we're going to go on a food spree and hopefully a shotgun shell spree so that I can pick up uh, some weapons. I suppose I could really go back to my main base and seeing as it's a military base they will probably have crap loads of uh, that sort of thing. Herein lies the fun. Oh Christ, that's quite a few of them, isn't it? interesting on these people? Well, I probably would have thought not. Yeah, I think this is the room that's got the uh, the one zombie that's stuck behind her. Stop for a second. So a quick set on the ground. That'll do. Oh, 
Nós dois. Obviously, Brandenburg's a bigger city than uh, I gave it credit for. There's a hell of a lot more zombies coming out of the woodwork. And I'd have liked. Looks like some are actually walking faster than the others, so let's let them get slightly ahead. Use their speeds against them. There we go. And stubby! 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 Please die. I might move back here. You must... Okay. That'll do. Not complain. Gotta be careful because I am starting to get slightly exhausted. Sit down. And I'll blow my nose as well, so I stop sniffing. Oops. Apologise. Still getting over that damn cold. Seeing as this one's going to take a while to get up here, let's have a quick look inside here. Let's see if I can find food or shotgun shells. Okay. Might take that fishing tackle. Is this a hardware store? There's a hunting knife there as well. Take like that. Kind of looks like it is a hardware store. Some more fishing tackle. Take like that. 
source. More fishing tackle. Okay, I'm going to leave that hunting knife there. Now I've somehow suddenly realised that this is a... Uh, I found a, a hardware store of some sort. Trade crane tank, that's cool. I don't think I'm going to find shotgun shells in here though. Having said that though, it's still good to keep a mental note of stuff. Fishing line thread. I'm on a hunting knife. I may have to uh, take a raid of this place and move it over to my home base, really. Now that he's come a bit closer, may end up being exactly what I do. I think I just see another red thing over here. So let's see if I can find some uh, shotgun shells. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop on pause and going to see if I can find an appropriate vehicle to grab all the stuff from this warehouse from this um, store. This is a dying area, isn't it? This is that dining area. It's not going to be any use to me. Let's have a quick run back, check this warehouse out. The one that I know has got the the one that's stuck between the boxes. And we'll head back. Well, well, I'll, I'm getting tired anyway, so I just got to be careful. Tell you what, I'll do just to save some time. I'll uh, go over this one off camera. I'll take the van back and see if I can find myself a vehicle to uh, drive down with to pick up all this stuff to move to the safe house. Back in a second. Just as a quick aside, I've just done a big sweep of this building. I managed to get myself 60 shotgun shells. So, uh, that's good. Right, so I'm going to head back, see if I can either empty out the van or find another, something else to carry some stuff back, and we'll do a stock take of the uh, section, well, the, the, the base, and make sure that we've got all the stuff there. Back in a bit. Okay, I've got the pickup truck. There's not exactly that much in here, to be honest, but what I will do is I'll pick up the backpack and this duffel bag. And I will then, what I'll do is I'll put the backpack uh, equip on my back. And uh, let's just start moving stuff that will be of use. Once I've filled that up, do you realize I had cereal in there? Let me take that cereal out.
not even sure what barbed wire would do, to be honest. I think that's probably about it for me, isn't it? Apart from maybe a couple of small things. Okay. Is that backpack heavier? Okay, well what we'll do is we'll put that on the front seat. Thirty-one point of them. Okay. All right, let's uh, equip the duffel bag. See if this bad boy fits in there. It does. But we're nearly actually full. <laughs> Brilliant. It's just nails in here. Okay, well, let's start looking for it's a machete there. I want to grab those welding rods, but I think they're going to be quite heavy. Fishing net trap, we'll take that. Fishing tackle, box of nails, a DC tape. Right, let's check this one. Wood axe, yeah, we'll take the wood axe definitely. Hmm. 
Okay. Well, we've we've got ourselves a little bit of a a little bit of a bounty. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this back. Okay, so if I start putting things like the wood axe, the wood glue, twine, thread, scrap metal, hand axe, it's got 50 on there, so that's fine. Adhesive tape. Box of nails. I do want the club hammer, but there you go. Maybe the rope, the welding rods, the armor. Right. Now, I suspect I put my. Okay, well, where this frying pan is, we'll put. Machete and hunting knife. And I'll leave the rest of that sack on the floor. Right, whilst I organise this, all I want to say to you guys is thank you very much for watching. If you like what you like, press the like button. If you dislike what you dislike, press the dislike button. But please pop something down in the comment section to let me know how I can improve my content for you. Because this is what it's about. It's about entertaining you guys, so uh, just let me know. Um, also, uh, if you really like it, why not press the subscribe button? If you super duper like it, why do you not? Why do you not press the bell icon as well so that you can get updated uh, whenever I create new content, which most terms is most weekdays. So all that remains for me to say is thank you very much for watching, guys. I've been your host, Saz, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.